John is a 13-year-old student. One night, he was scrolling through TikTok when a shocking video appeared on his screen. The video was made by an extremist political party. It was spreading fake news about refugees and blaming them for societal problems. The video was made using manipulated images and was edited in a way that's appealing to young teenagers. John didn't know how to feel about it at first, but he kept on watching more and more of such videos as the algorithm kept on recommending them. After a while, he started believing that they were telling the truth. The next day at school, John approached his classmate Mo, who is a refugee, and said You don't belong here. Refugees like you cause all the problems. Mo was shocked and hurt by John's words. He didn't know where John was coming from and how to defend himself. Luckily, one of their classmates, Sophie, knew better and stood up for Mo. That's not true. Why would you say that? John admitted that he learned it from TikTok. Sophie told him that it's not true and he can't believe everything he sees on the internet. John apologized and admitted that he was wrong, but fake news doesn't always come to light. Fake news has real consequences. Remember to always use trustworthy news outlets and check multiple sources. When something appears too good or too bad to be true, it probably is.